Uh, hello, everybody. It's me again. Um, if you guys have watched my videos, you know there there might be one thing that I like more than my Jetson Nano. It's my Connect. So I was really happy to uh, see that the uh, um, uh, that the new Connect for Azure was coming out. But I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't get it to run on my Nano. But that day is over. I'm going to show you that the Connect for Azure Azure can run on the Nano. So I've installed it, and I'll explain that later, uh, how I installed it, because I'm nearly not sure how I did yet. As you see on my screen, on the left, you see I BNC'd into my Nano, so you guys can see better. But on the right side, I've got a, 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 a cam, a webcam going, because um, I want you to see just how well it runs. So what you do is uh, go over here, uh, do this and there. so uh, it starts up like this it sees the device uh, open the device start the device now this is all on the nano as you can see you know you can see it that's why I say on the right is the webcam on the left is a VNC so I think the VNC will give you kind of a better, more detail, but it won't do the justice as the live cam. So what we have here, let me see if we can get this going. Oh, you see, because on the left here, we have uh, kind of the configurations you can do. Um, and uh, up here, there's the infrared cam. If you look up uh, to the left up here, you can see the pixel position and the pixel value that's really good and over here you can see the this is the depth camera you can see the uh, current pixel position and the pixel value so in the old connect I, I really like to use this because I I used to run this with deep stream and I and I really like showing the the depth when the object and then down here you have the, the live camera which is you know just fine have you noticed that uh, there's really no lag? The, the Nano's doing a really good job of, like, you know, no lag. So it's pretty good. Um, and over here on the right here, you have your, all your channels. There's, like, uh, seven channels for the sound. You have an accelerometer, a gyroscope, you know, because you can move it around and stuff. I'll move it around a little bit after uh, um, uh, show you all that. And then, uh, you know, you have all these selections. It's got Y, U, Y, 2, which is perfect for, like, deep stream. So that's my next thing is I'm, I, I built a G streamer uh, to run the Connect V2. And I want to do that. I want to run this now in uh, deep stream. That's kind of the whole purpose of this. I wanted to run this with deep stream. So uh, let's see. That's about it on this. Um by the way, here, let me see, I can show you. This is the, you see, that's like the, the, the new Connect, the Connect Berger. And then it's hooked into my Nano. There's my Nano right there. So, so let's see what this goes. And then uh, what's nice, it does the, the 3D. Sometimes you got to stop it to make your changes and restart it. Let's see. Get it closer. I don't know if you can see down here. There's a selection down here. You can spin it. I can do simple. And then I can do color. There's me. Let's get a better shot of the room here. See if it'll do a better job. See, there's the room. There's my, my puppy. Let's see if I can get in here, too. See, there's me. So, you know, this is my chubby face. That's pretty neat. Let's see. Go back to shaded. Do that. Like I say, I mean that's pretty that's pretty good. The, the nano's handled is very well. Thirty frames a second, no problem. And this is simple. 
So, so let's go back to the color. So, I mean, it works pretty good. You know, it's nice and fast. You have a lot of selections, you know, and and uh, so there's that. Let me kind of pick this up and move it around a little bit. So there's the room. They can move it around. So, you know, you can see. So I can get this. Me say so. It works pretty good. Um, let's straighten this out. There's me. Eh. Anyway, so you get the whole idea. Now, what I did was, um, I, I this is where I kind of found this. Uh, I, I looked here first, and it says that uh, they're coming out with the new 1.4, 1 1.4.0 alpha, and it runs on the nano. So I downloaded that using my the NuGet. And uh, I, I didn't. I, I kind of. I did a lot of things, so I don't know what actually worked. And then also, uh, if you go to the, the SDK, this is the Azure Azure for Connect SDK. It says it has ARM support now. So, you know, where is that? Like right here. So I think this uh, right here is. Uh, I guess. Not. But anyway, as you can see, it runs just fine on the Connect. I mean, it's nice and fast. Let's get rid of this. Go back to this. So, you know, it's running 30 frames a second. Um, let's just run 1080p. Stop it. That. And start it. So it still runs pretty good. I know once you go any faster than this, it, it kind of does some lagging. But uh, other than that, it's like working pretty good. So, but any anyway, so my next uh, my next job is to like uh, get get this to run deep stream. So um, let's minimize this. So as soon as I figure out how I got it to load, I'll do like kind of do like I do all the other times is I'll do a step by step on how to do it yourself. But I really haven't figured out how I got it to work just yet. But it's it's working. So all right, thank you.